Hi. We are traveling now from Philippines to the Germany. That means practically we are taking Cebu Pacific, Pacific flight now from Butuan City to the Manila. One night sleep over there and then continue with um, Emirates from Manila to the Dubai and then until to Hamburg. And it's not so easy trip, I will show you. Before the trip, you need to go to the COVID test. Any COVID test, you need to show the negative result here in the airport. Um, then you have to also show um, travel permit. And then you have to show uh, your health declaration form. And you need to have um, a tracing application in your phone when you're checking into airport and checking out. So there is a lot of preparation and you really need to know what to do and you need to have all these or you're not allowed to go into the plane and in addition um, we are taking the bus from the Hamburg airport to the home Entering and leaving the plane takes a little bit more time than usually especially when you're leaving the plane um, in Cebu Pacific at least so um, You have to go out row by row so practically means that only three rows can go out at the same time While the other people have to still sit down and wait the, the turn so it takes a little bit more time But I think it makes sense First of all, so we slept one night in a hotel here and went also for some shopping. You cannot go inside to any shopping mall or any shop here without there checking your temperature. And now we are back here in Manila Airport. Um, actually, this new Corona variant aggressive came here just yesterday, and uh, people are panicking here. And. Uh, some people are even using the full PPE, so full protection, whole body here. And uh, there is a massive queue to our flight. I, I don't know what's going to happen, really. It's stressful, really. Really stressful. This is quite, quite a mess. I mean, I'm more or less so-called white or European here in Manila Airport. And uh, I've been stopped all the time here people asking about what I'm doing here and so on this is, this is not good and uh, all other people are actually flying to the Middle East but we are continuing to Germany where the German government requirements are much lighter than the UAE so we don't have we don't need any kind of test we don't need any kind of uh, um, papers just registration to the German government and we can go in and this is so difficult to explain to anyone here so this is very very stressful actually. Amazing. And what a surprise, what a surprise. Luckily we came four hours before uh, departure to the airport. The guys in a desk checking don't know what are the entry requirements to the Germany lovely now they are calling to the Germany from here to Manila and try to understand what are the entry requirements we showed all the official requirements for the webpage of the German government that we don't need any test results but they don't know that my god and now we are just waiting oh my god really three hours arguing against the Emirates so if you can avoid to fly with Emirates please do so 
very bad service. We showed clear evidence from the government that we can travel. They just argued all the time against us that we are not allowed to fly. Please, Emirates, no, bad service. So anyway, we are now through from the security check and immigration in Manila airport. Um, so far quite negative experience about Emirates Airlines, but very positive experience about the stuff in the airport in Manila. So very friendly and nice people. So let's continue the trip. Stress. And why I'm so disappointed and angry about Emirates Airlines is the following. So we check all the requirements online. We check their own webpage. We check the German government where we are going. We showed all the sources for the people. We chat two days ago with their support. We came earlier yesterday to the airport and double checked everything. Everything is fine. Everything is fine until this one woman said that we need the negative test, which is absolutely not true. So the Emirates Air Airlines, one person wanted to deny my trip back to home. And that is not nice. And when I was asking the reason, show the sources, show the evidence, and even asking a little bit competencies about the inconvenience, about three hour argument, he said, I'm wrong. It was my mistake. Amazing. Emirates. There's a space to improve. Stop over three hours in the Dubai airport. So the first um, nine hours flight is done now and it was fully jam packed. So really full of people. It was not very convenient again. And uh, one girl next to us was all the time coughing and sneezing. Not really good, not really good. Anyway, in a moment we are boarding to the next flight, direction Hamburg, Germany. Finally at Hamburg airport and came already through the immigration. Um, the flight itself, the plane was almost empty, so it was quite convenient and good service, everything. So a little bit points for the em Emirates flying company. Um, so far, nothing for the testing or COVID or something. No idea. They only check that we have registered in advance to the German um, government system, like a health declaration. But for us it was easy, but for some people they have to do another, some manual paperwork. I don't know what's happened. That was a little bit confusing what the people have to do. Nevertheless, um, if you think about um, about 24 hours ago, they didn't want to let us to the plane because we are not allowed to come to Germany. And when we are coming to Germany, there is nothing. We just show our passports and going, going out and just picking our luggages. Um, the next step is to go home. Hopefully there is a bus. We don't know. Wow. Just came to the outside of the Hamburg airport ter terminal. One of the biggest airport in the Germany. In Europe also. Here is no one. This is like a ghost town. There's no people. The car park is empty. I don't know. This is interesting moment in the in the world history i would say really and yes so the plan was to take a bus to the home quite cheap but i can see now that the bus is not running so we have to take a taxi at least 100 euro bonus no can do
we have to go directly from this terminal to the home and stay there 10 days in the mandatory guarantee no shopping nothing just stay home and we will take a taxi now <sighs> what a trip what a trip Okay, let's summarize the COVID travel trip back to Europe. So, um, based on the German regulation, um, you have to stay 10 days in a self-isolation in home, but there is a one um, exception. So, after five days staying home, based on the regulation, um, you can have a COVID test, and if the result is negative, you can make it shorter your home quarantine time. Nevertheless, we try to stay in home anyway, as much as possible. And so we register ourselves this morning to this thing and uh, pay 30 euro about the COVID test. So drive in by car to the testing station. They took a sample from the nose when we are still sitting in the car. And about 15 minutes later, they gave us a result, which is negative. So that's positive. And anyway, so back to Germany now. I will continue the vlogging. I believe I have many things to show for you from Germany. And uh, let's have a look. Maybe about one vlog per week. I don't know, let's see. Keep in touch.